So let's take a closer look at the Dare You A950 Pro gaming mouse. So the Dare You A950 Pro mouse is a lightweight gaming mouse coming in at only 55 grams. Make sure you're safe for the entire video because I will be comparing this mouse with my current mouse, the Dare You A955 RGB gaming mouse, as well as the Asus ROG Harp Ace mouse, which is very similar to the A950 Pro, as you can see the layout right here. They also weigh pretty much the same, but let's get back to the A950 Pro. I'm just gonna set it aside for now to look to see what's inside. And what we have here is what makes this mouse special. It's the 4K wireless receiver. That means with this mouse, it supports a polling rate of up to 4,000 Hertz. So it can pretty much send a signal to your computer every 0.25 milliseconds, which is about four times faster than other gaming mice. And this is a really nice feature to have at this mouse's price point because most gaming mice have a polling rate of only 1,000 Hertz. And if you want more than 1,000 Hertz polling rate, you usually have to pay more than the price of this mouse. So you also get this very nice USB-C to USB-A charging cable. You get a nice carrying pouch in case you want to take your gaming mouse with you on the go. You get a user manual as well as some extra pads for the bottom of the mouse. It also includes some custom design grip tape that you can apply to your mouse in case you want to get more traction while you're holding the mouse. So let's take a closer look at the bottom of the mouse so we can take a look at the optical sensor. So this is an interesting design. It has four feet here on the edges as well as a center circle around the optical sensor. Talking about the optical sensor, this is a PAW 3395 optical sensor with up to 26,000 DPI, 650 IPS tracking speed, and 50G acceleration for better accuracy. On the right hand side, we have a button that controls the DPI setting as well as Bluetooth pairing. And on the left hand side, you get to choose between three different modes of operation. So this mouse actually supports Bluetooth 5.1 wireless, 2.4 gigahertz wireless, or you can use your mouse wired while you charge it. Before I talk about the rest of the mouse features, I'd like to thank Dare You for sending this mouse out for me to try out as this review wouldn't be possible without them. Okay, now let's try out the buttons. They feel really good. I'm able to click them very fast. And so the mouse switches below these buttons are actually the Kale Black GM 8.0 mouse switches. These allow you to click rapidly without double clicking issues and they have an actuation time of only 0.2 milliseconds. So as you can probably tell, I have very large hands. And this mouse feels very good while holding it. It looks like you have five mouse buttons, the left mouse button, the right mouse button. The mouse wheel feels very nice and you actually have like little stops as you scroll. You can also use the mouse wheel as a button by clicking it. And on the left side, you have two additional mouse buttons. Since this gaming mouse is meant to be used wireless, let's talk about the battery and charging times. This mouse has a 300 milliamp battery, so it should last you about 37 days in Bluetooth 5.1 mode and about six days in 2.4 gigahertz mode based on about four hours of daily usage. Now charging, this is where it gets really interesting. You can actually charge this mouse up to 90% in just 15 minutes. I think that's pretty crazy. If you want to do a full charge, it only takes about 30 minutes or so. That's a lot better than other gaming mice out there. Okay, so let me do a quick physical comparison between the A950 Pro from Dare You as well as their A955, which has some nice RGB. And the first thing I notice is that there is no RGB at all other than this little LED here. But this is really meant to be an eSports gaming mouse where you care more about functionality versus looks. But just compare the A950 Pro with the A955 from Dare You. Of course, you have the nice RGB on the A955. The A955 is quite a bit cheaper than the A950. And the A955 is heavier coming in at 96 grams. So you can definitely notice the difference when you're moving the A955 versus the A950 Pro. It's much easier to move the A950 Pro. That's gonna be key in eSports games. With the A955, you have an extra mouse button here on top, and the side mouse buttons are bigger on the A955 versus the A950 Pro. The A950 Pro has a symmetrical design to it, whereas the A955 is really meant for right-handed people. As you can see, the little wing that comes out right here, that's where the difference is in terms of the style. So if you're used to using symmetrical mice, definitely go with the A955 Pro. But if you're used to mice like the Logitech 502, then definitely go with the A955. So yeah, the last thing I'll say is that I have noticed with the a955 while playing uh, competitive games like Valorant, Warzone. It is a little bit tougher to do quick flicks with the mouse versus a lighter mouse like the ROG Harp Ace. And that's definitely due to the weight. So now let me do a more fair comparison with the A950 Pro versus the Asus ROG Harp Ace. And they actually come in at pretty much the same weight. It, that's about 55 grams. You see that they're very similar. The A950 Pro has longer mouse buttons. Let me feel the Harp Ace. 
versus the A950 Pro. Yeah, I feel like the buttons are a little bit tighter and more responsive than the ROG Heart Base. These feel a little bit looser to me, but you can definitely click pretty fast. A lot softer push, where this is a lot firmer, if that makes any sense. Now looking where you place your palm, I feel like the ROG Harp Ace is a thinner profile versus the A950 Pro. The mouse buttons on the side are bigger on the Harp Ace. Now I would like to point out that the Harp Ace is more expensive than the A950 Pro. So we're looking at maybe a $50 price difference to get the Asus Harp Ace. And these both have very similar features and feel to them. If we look at the bottom, the feet also look very similar, but the A950 Pro has a little bit larger feet and it has a larger oval around the sensor versus the Harp Ace on the right. Now, the other difference is that the Harp Ace has this USB dongle that you have to stick on your computer, which is kind of small and it is possible to misplace or lose it easily, uh, but it has a nice place for it right here. The A950 Pro, of course, has this 4K wireless sensor. So uh, you just kind of attach it, leave it there on your desk. So I think that's maybe a little bit better solution. And you would just plug in this cable to your computer. So yeah, very, very similar when it comes down to comparing these two mice. I'm just gonna have to test them out with different games and see which one performs better. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time gaming with the A950 Pro. And I'll be right back with my full review comparing the A950 Pro to the A955 as well as the ROG Heart Base. So I'll see you in a bit. So I got some time to do quite a bit of gaming with the Dare You A950 Pro gaming mouse, and I have some things to say about it. First of all, this is one of the lightest gaming mice that I have tried. And the only other mouse that I've tried is this light is the Asus ROG Harp Ace, which you see right here. And they're actually the same exact weight pretty much. And I found that very interesting just due to the fact that the Dare You mouse is half the price of the Asus one. So as you can see, they look very, very similar. There are of course some slight differences, which I kind of already went over, but the main difference is that the Dare You mouse supports 4K polling rate, whereas the Asus mouse can only do a thousand hertz polling rate. Of course, the other one is the price. The Asus mouse retails for pretty much double the cost of the Dare You mouse. But before I get into the performance of these two mice, which are very similar and compete with each other, let me talk about another mouse. And that's the Dare You A955 gaming mouse. Now it's much heavier than the 950 Pro. So there's quite a bit of difference there. Also in the design, you see this little wing here. This is really meant for right-handed players. For the 950 Pro, it's a symmetrical look, as you see here, so you might be able to use it left-handed. Now let's talk about performance in-game. I found that the Dare You A955 was just too heavy for any competitive gaming. No matter what game I tried, whether it was Warzone or Valorant, I found myself having a harder time doing flick shots. For example, if somebody was shooting me from behind, to quickly turn around and fire at them was much harder to do with the A955 with the A950 on the other hand, it was no problem. I was able to save myself in so many situations with the A950 Pro that uh, it was worth it to have this lighter mouse. That being said, where the A955 kind of excels is if you're doing a little precise shot, once you've aimed at the enemy and say you're trying to get the headshot, that little bit of movement you need to move up to the head to get that headshot, the A955 kind of performed a little bit better. So I'm gonna say if you're using a sniper class in your games, then the A955 might be worth it. However, if you're playing anything else other than Sniper, if you're quick scoping, then the A950 Pro is definitely the way to go. Okay, so now it comes down to the Air U A950 Pro versus the Asus ROG Harp Ace. I found that I really like the mouse buttons on the Dare U A950 Pro. They're just a little bit stiffer for me and more responsive. The Harp Ace, on the other hand, the clicking was softer, but that's just really a matter of preference there. As for the ergonomics, they both perform very well. The ROG Harp Ace is a little bit longer than the A950 Pro, as you can see here. And it does help out if you have bigger hands like me, depending on your grip. But what I found when I was playing with these lighter mice is that I grip them with my fingertips mostly and move a lot with my fingertips instead of the way I was playing with the A955 where I would kind of move the whole mouse with my hand uh, because it was heavier. Now, of course, a big selling point of the A950 Pro is the four key polling rate. Well, does it really make a difference? So I set it at 1000 Hertz, played for quite a bit, and then I set to 4K Hertz polling rate, and I did notice a little bit better smoothness. 
when aiming. So I would say under normal use, if you're just surfing the web or whatever, uh, you're not gonna notice the difference, but in game, I think you will notice the difference between 1000 Hertz and 4K Hertz with this mouse. I just do wanna point out that you can only access the 4K polling rate if you use this mouse wireless. I tried using it wired USB and the option for 4K polling disappears in the software. So talking about the software, it's a good segue between these two mice. I found that the Dare You mouse software is very basic. It just lets you perform, you know, the essential functions such as setting the DPI. It does let you have up to four profiles that you can have different settings. It does support macros and all that stuff, but honestly, I don't use those features. And one thing I didn't like about the Dare You software is that Dare You has a specific software for each different mouse. So for the A955, I had to run one piece of software on my computer and when I got the A950 Pro, it loaded another piece of software specifically for the A950 Pro. So I have to have two different Dare You applications running for these two different mice. I kind of didn't like that, but are you really going to be using two different Dare You mice at the same time? Probably not, so it may not be a big issue. So if we're talking about software, the winner of the two is the ROG Harp Ace because it uses Armory Crate and are constantly updating that with new features and making things better. For example, they just had a new feature for the Harp Ace in their new firmware for it, where it will support both the keyboard and the mouse with the dongle from the Harp Ace. So I do happen to have an Asus ROG wireless keyboard and I'm definitely gonna take advantage, update the firmware and use just one dongle for both devices, which is gonna save me some USB ports on my computer. Performance wise, they're really neck and neck. Again, these mice are very similar. When testing both, sometimes I would do better with the Asus Harp Ace, sometimes I would do better with the Dare You 950 Pro. Of course, I would say that the 4K polling rate of the Dare You definitely helps out. So that being said, which of these mice brings the most value? I would definitely say that the Dare You A950 Pro brings the most value. The Harp Ace is not worth double the price retail of the Dare You A950 Pro. It just isn't. And yeah, the Asus mouse has nice integration with other devices through Armory Crate. In the end, it comes down to performance. And I think the A950 Pro performed very well and is very competitive against the ROG Harp A, which is from a well-known gaming brand, Asus. The A950 Pro definitely gives it a run for its money. The only place where this mouse ends up being better than the A950 Pro is with its compatibility with the AIM Lab software. This ROG Harp A is the AIM Labs edition, which means that it can work with AIM Lab software, which is one of the top pieces of software out there that helps you with your aiming. You just run a few scenarios, track things and shoot things around with your mouse and it will automatically detect the best savings. And not only will it show you those settings, it will also set your mouse to those settings. You can use the exact settings you use in aim labs that perform the best for your particular movement with this mouse. So that's the only place where the Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition wins over the E950 Pro. Otherwise, if you already have pretty good aim and you're used to customizing your own mouse settings such as DPI, you know, polling rate and all that, then the A950 Pro is the best bang for your buck here. So to sum it up, the A950 Pro at its price point competes very well against other more expensive gaming mice from well-known brands. So if you're looking for a gaming mouse to play your competitive games, then definitely look at the A950 Pro. It's very easy for me to recommend this mouse because of the lower price point and the features it comes with, such as the 4K polling rate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep on gaming and I'll see you in the next one.